This is Spencer Colgan, and welcome back to my wallpaper and painting channel. One of my viewers gave me a great idea, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to offer a do-it-yourselfer, preferably a couple, to have me come to their home. I will help them paint the room, but I will supervise their efforts and correct their errors, which are common to most do-it-yourselfers. So it's an interesting idea, and I thank the fellow who recommended the, uh, the plan. This video is about correcting painting errors. So, this wall, if you look at it here, has old, if I'm, if I'm correct, this is color from the last paint job. Can they see that in that camera? This line I think here? I can. So, let's say, uh, let's say you're there, the customer says, no, 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 I'm selling the house, Spencer, just paint, just, just give me a nice line here. You're being cold. Cold? Cold. So the customer says, just give me a white line, I'm selling the house, I want to make it look nice, the trim has already been painted. However, the old paint job is still showing its errors onto the white. You've seen it yourself. You have this really ornate trim and you got some of the wall paint on the trim. Well, there's a way to correct it so that it's visually pleasing to the eye. Obviously, the best way is to give the trim a perfectly crisp line in the corner, but sometimes the painter gets the paint on the trim, and this is a problem. Do it yourself and say, hey, I, I don't care. Just leave it, leave it as is. But don't stop there. That's what I'm trying to tell you to do. Correct the line. So we have yellow, and we have this color here. This color was brought onto the trim, obviously, because the previous painter left color there. So you have to bring your wall paint onto the trim if you want to make it look right. Now I'm going to show you how to make the line straight when you have to bring the paint from the wall onto the trim because the previous painter did it. All we're going to do is to visually inspect the strip to see which is the greatest distance from the corner onto the trim where the error occurred. That will determine where I place my tape line. So we have one here and one here. I'm going to go with this thickness. So I'm going to start my tape line. I'm guessing, I'm not going to get out of level and be crazy. So I'm just going to make my straight line. Oh, I hate when that happens to the tape. We have to correct that now. very important that you do this with the tape. You determine the line by doing that. And now you can see the plane coming into action. We're going to move this over because this tape has failed at the top. We'll correct that. Once you lay this tape down, that's it. My my cameraman is an Hawaiian, and uh, he's visiting, and uh, just forgive him, he's from Hawaii, and uh, he's a native Samoan, a very interesting fellow. We'll show you a picture of him before the video is out. His name is Max. And he likes to, uh, he likes to be called Mad Max. I think that was a show or something years ago, but. I definitely love to be called that. Okay, so, we can see our plan starting to work out. We're just correcting my taping error.
And there we have it. We're creating a visual vertical line that will be pleasing to the eyes. The eye will not catch the old painter bringing paint onto the trim. That's how you do it. Okay, I'll see you on the next frame when we caulk and paint this in a quick minute. When you have caulking coming out of a caulking gun, I'll just show you. When you get into it, can you tell where the orifice is from which the caulking flows? No. Well, I'm going to help your job go quicker. There's the orifice. The opposite will mark so that we know that when it's loaded up with that mess, that the point from which the material is flowing is the opposite of our magic marker. Believe me, it'll save you time and aggravation. There's nothing like running a bead of caulking down three or four feet and you realize you're shooting it toward yourself. Okay? Now, using a caulking gun, watch the difference. If I pull it, that wasn't supposed to go so well. Usually that doesn't happen. You should push the caulking gun like this. Look. You push it like this and it gives you a beautiful bead of caulking. Everything works when you're on camera. It wasn't supposed to be that easy, okay? Now, I'll pull it here. Let's see if I make the mistake. No, it's not happening. Usually pulling a caulking gun doesn't do the trick. So when you push it, it gives you a nice bead. Now I'm using white caulking, please take note. White caulking is good in this case because Behind the white caulking is white paint. It's as simple as that. But if you had cream colored trim and blue or gray paint on the wall, you wouldn't use white caulking, you'd use clear. The clear dries clear and allows the cream colored caulking, the cream colored trim and the gray or blue wall to show their colors at the corner as they are. Because it's transparent, it's translucent, but if you use white in that situation, bad. If you had to keep caulking on your van or truck, keep clear. So that it doesn't matter what the color behind it is. You understand? Okay, now let's just quickly paint this and be done with it. So we're using a very high quality, pretty, four inch, medium stiff brush. Okay? It's four inch, pretty. And you will not be able to get these at your box stores. Generally, do it yourself or shop there. Do it yourselfers do not want to spend $33 on a paintbrush. And so they go for the three inch. But, you know, if you're doing production painting, a four inch brush is the way to go. You can cut in with this, et cetera, et cetera. By the way, wallpaper hangers used to use six inch brushes to apply their paste to the wallpaper. So I announced that I'm starting a Spencer Colgan wallpaper and painting trivia show. And it's gonna be every Friday evening and we're gonna have a one hour show online that is live. And I'm just going to say things like, uh, you know, we'll give out tools and stuff. And it'll be like, where did Spencer Colgan grow up? What's, what city? And it'll be really interesting. Because the show will be all about me. So it'll be a very good show. As you can imagine. Now, people from other countries don't understand my sense of humor. They actually believe everything I say. I will tell you this, when I graduated Bishop Ford High School in Brooklyn, New York in 2002, um, one of my friends, a colleague police officer, he and I both went into the police at, at the same time. Anyway, he, you know when you write in those little memory books 
you write a note to your friend. He wrote, you're a sick puppy, but we all love you. I'll never forget it. His name was Mark Lanigan. And I think he's still a police lieutenant up in New York. I'm pretty sure. But um, one of the other things I think he wrote was this. Believe half of what he says to you and question the rest. Okay, we're gonna... What he meant by that was that I was always joking. I'm not a liar. So he said, yeah. Believe half of what he tells you and question the rest. I thought that was funny. Because I'll go into restaurants and put fake cockroaches that I purchase off of Amazon in the food. And I'll tell the waitress, do you see what you just put in front of me? And she'll be like, and I won't, I won't let them off the hook. I'll be like, and then I'll say, I'm only kidding. It's a, most of the time it's a step. But once in a while you get the nasty waitress who doesn't find it funny. But you gotta make sure all of your food is on the table before you pull that kind of junk, if you know what I mean. If you're from New York, you definitely know what I mean. Okay, so let's come up close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now this will be the finished line. And as you can see, can somebody just write perfection in the comment section, please, right now? Just write perfection, please. Just say perfection. And if you wanna say Spencer, you're perfect, that's fine too. This is how you make a crooked line straight. Okay? The only alternative would be to do this. Wait till the blue dries, tape the blue, paint the white, wait till the white dries, tape the white like I just did, and paint the blue. Thanks for watching. That's your tip for the day.